Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Uh, today we are going to discuss a topic in chemistry form 4 and the topic is acids, bases and salts. So the topic is acids, bases and salts, a topic that is offered at form 4 level in chemistry. Uh, before we get into uh, discussing what the topic entails, it is important to learn the chapter objectives. What are the objectives that a learner is expected to fulfill by the end of this particular topic? So the chapter objectives. So number one, uh, the learner is expected to be in a position to define the three terms, acids, bases, and salts. So that is the first objective. Uh, the second objective uh, the learner should be able to explain the strength of acids and bases. So in this case, uh, to be able to explain the strength of acids and bases. And this is basically to be able to understand what is a strong acid, what is a weak acid, what is a strong base, and what is a weak base. Uh, the third objective of this uh, particular topic is to explain the role of a solvent explain the role of a solvent on acid base properties. So explain the role of a given solvent on the acid base properties. And number four, we'll also be able to compare the strength of acids and bases, compare the strength of acids and bases in terms of pH, in terms of pH and electrical conductivity. Objective number five is to be able to write ionic equations showing precipitation by different cations. And then number six is to be able to explain solubility and solubility curves and their application. Explain solubility and solubility curves and their application. Number seven is to be able to explain uh, 
the hardness of water and its courses and finally uh, to be able to describe the methods of removing hardness from water. So basically those are the objectives uh, for this particular uh, topic. So number one, to be able to define acids, bases and salts as the uh, topic suggests. Uh, number two, be able to explain the strength of acids and bases. Uh, three, explain the role of a solvent on acid-base properties. Number four, compare the strength of acids and bases in terms of pH and electrical conductivity. Number five, write ionic equations showing precipitation by different uh, cations. Uh, six, explain solubility and solubility curves and their application. Uh, seven, uh, explain the hardness of water and its causes. And then finally, describe the methods of removing hardness from water. Uh, so we are going to start with the introduction. And uh, the first thing that we need to ask ourselves is what is an acid? And we can define an acid as a chemical substance uh, that produces hydrogen ions as the only positive ions when in solution form. So we can say that an acid is a chemical substance that produces hydrogen ions in solution form as the only positive ions. So any substance that uh, when it is in solution form uh, produces hydrogen ions as the only po positive ions, then we can say that that is an acid. Uh, for example, uh, we have acids such as hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid when it is in solution form produces hydrogen ions and chloride ions. So hydrogen ions are the only positive ions. So we can say that hydrochloric acid uh, in solution form qualifies as an acid. Another example, we can take sulfuric acid, also known as sulfuric 6 acid. This one produces two hydrogen ions as the only positive ions. So Two, two hydrogen ions, and of course the, the other ions are negatively charged. We can take an example of nitric 5 acid, basically known as nitric acid, when in solution form, produces hydrogen ions as the only positive ions. And then we have the nitrate ions. So basically, all these examples qualify as acids. They produce hydrogen ions as the only positive ions when in solution form. Two hydrogen ions, uh, one, two moles of hydrogen ions, one mole of hydrogen ions, and so on and so forth. Now, on the other hand, 
uh, it's important uh, to define what is a base and you can say that a base is a chemical substance that produces hydroxide ions that produces hydroxide ions OH negative as the only negative ions as the only negative ions while in solution form so a base produces hydroxide ions as the only negative ions an acid produces hydrogen ions as the only positive ions and we can have a few examples of bases we can have sodium hydroxide solution this is a base that produces sodium ions but here we are looking at the hydroxide ions as the only negatively charged ions an example of potassium hydroxide another example of a base we can have ammonium hydroxide So all the bases in this case are producing hydroxide ions. All the bases are producing hydroxide ions as the only negative ions while in solution form. For the case of the acids, the acids produce hydrogen ions as the only uh, positive ions while in solution form. And we have seen a number of examples of bases and a few examples of acids. Then you are going to define what is a salt. And we can say that uh, a salt is formed when the hydrogen ions, when the hydrogen ions in an acid are neutralized by the hydroxide ions from the base so in this case we say that uh, uh, the acid is neutralized by the base or the base is neutralized by by the acid so in this case we find that uh, a salt is formed when an acid is basically neutralized by a base so is a chemical substance formed when the acid is neutralized by a base when the acid is neutralized by a base now we can also say that uh, a salt is formed when the hydrogen ions when the hydrogen ions in the acid are replaced by the metallic ions by the metallic ions from the base or by ammonium ions so in this case we can say that it can also be defined as the compound formed compound formed when the hydrogen ions in the acid are completely or partially 
replaced when the hydrogen ions in the acid are completely or partially replaced by metallic ions or ammonium ions or ammonium ions and you are going to demonstrate that how that one happens So what you are basically saying is that uh, when the hydrogen ions in an acid, for instance, we had uh, HCl, hydrochloric acid, then we decide uh, to replace the hydrogen ions in that acid with a metallic ion such as sodium ions. So we get sodium chloride, which is a salt. So we can say that uh, Eg, sodium chloride, is a salt of hydrochloric acid. It's a salt of hydrochloric acid. If, for example, we have an acid like uh, sulfuric acid, and the hydrogen ions of uh, in the sulfuric acid are replaced by metallic ions such as magnesium. So we replace them with magnesium. So you can say magnesium sulfate is a salt of sulfuric acid. And on the other hand, if you have an acid like nitric acid and the hydrogen ions in nitric acid are replaced by ammonium ions. It can either be metallic ions or ammonium ions. Then you'll have ammonium nitrate. And in this case, ammonium nitrate is a salt of nitric acid. So in other words, we can say that uh, the, the type of acid that we are using determines what kind of salts we are going to form. Sodium chloride is a salt of hydrochloric acid. Same case applies to any other chloride, magnesium chloride and the others. Magnesium sulfate is a salt of sulfuric acid. Any sulfate salt is a salt obtained from sulfuric acid. Ammonium nitrate is a salt obtained from uh, nitric acid. So we're going to have a, a short exercise. So the first question in the assignment uh, define the following terms. Define the term acid, base, and salt. As we have discussed, question number two, using chemical equations, show how the following salts can be produced from acids or from particular acids, magnesium chloride, sodium sulfate, and calcium nitrate. We'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <music> Thank you.